Hello everybody. This is Lisa Westerfield from Lion of Zion Ministries. I want to say thank you to Joel Hoffman for asking me to talk to you today about my testimony. I spent a lot of time talking to the Lord about it and knowing it was Thanksgiving and Christmas and just wanted to say something about my testimony that was relevant to this season we're in with so much going on in the world. And uh, one of the things that always comes up when I give my testimony, and there are a lot of things, a lot of God stories from my life, but always what shows up is the idea of identity. Um, some would say that identity is who I am in Jesus, and others might say who Jesus is in me. It's actually both because we partner with him. My struggles with identity started even before I was born. Uh, I was not supposed to live. And after I was born, I got very, very sick. And the doctors and dentists were arguing. And my grandmother carried me to church on a bed pillow because she was afraid I would slip through her legs. I was so tiny. And after I grew up a little bit and went to school, I was terribly, terribly bullied by the people around me up until I graduated from high school. Um, they told me I could never sing. And I went off to college, and at 18 years of age, my boyfriend died in a, a motorcycle accident. And then about three years into my college school um, schooling, I was told that they couldn't do anything else for me, that there was something wrong with my voice. And the short story is that Two years later, I graduated with the degree on time. But in all of these things, I always found my victory in Jesus. And I learned that it was standing on the word of God that made a difference. The word says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And... So we have to get God's word on every situation that we face in our life. But identity, we have to be convinced that God loves us. And we see a great picture of that in John chapter 11. Jesus has gone to Bethany and he said hello to Mary and Martha. And Martha says, you know, our brother died. If you had been here, he wouldn't have died. And Jesus tells them to roll away the stone and we get to this moment where Jesus is about to call out Lazarus' name. And he prays to the Father and he says, Father, I thank you that you hear me. I know that you always hear me. But I say this for the benefit of the people around me so that they know that you sent me as your messenger. And then he calls out Lazarus' name and out he comes in his uh, burial clothes. And in that moment, you see something about Jesus' relationship with God and who he knew he was in God and to God. In the Amplified Version, it's, he's, it's translated, Father, I thank you that you hear me and listen to me. With all of this stuff going on in the world and all of the things that we face as individuals and what it means to be a Jesus follower and how people might make fun of us or the bad things the enemy might throw at us or the circumstances of life, to know that God always hears us, but he doesn't just hear us, he listens to us. And through all of the things that I ever faced in my life, and they were not small, many of them, but it was always about the fact that I knew that God loved me, that he was in me, and that I was in him. And I got more and more understanding but that's the only way, the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony, that God is faithful, that he loves me, that he hears me when I pray, and that he is always listening, and that because of that, we can be a testimony to the people around us as we stand and see the deliverance of the Lord. So I just encourage you in this holiday season to, to talk to God and to know that he hears you and that he's listening and just ask him to show you more about who you are in him and who he is in you. Because who he was in Jesus 
makes all the difference for us. And it made all the difference that day for Lazarus to rise up from the dead. Because if Jesus hadn't known that God was going to hear him and listen and answer and testify, then Lazarus would have never come back. But Jesus believed and God credited it as righteousness to him because Jesus knew who he was and knew what God had sent him to do. And God has a hope and a future for all of us. All right. So happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. Be blessed, my friends. Bye-bye.